There are shows, not, 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 not mean there are shows. There are days that you wake up and you look outside and you're like, no, I'm not going hunting, I am not going fishing. Those are the days that you may actually want to do that. And what's, what's amazing is, I had Billy McDonald up from, you know, he's been on striking pro staff for so many years. You know, I've known Billy since I was a teenager. Billy was a, a, a legend from, from Indiana and he won so many tournaments when, you know, when I was younger. And I've known him from, from being in the industry for so many years, but I've never fished with him. I fished against him for many years, but he's a large mouth dude, but he knows small mouth. And we talked about, gosh, let's do one of those, you know, let's do one of those Northern beat downs. Here's what I can tell you. This is a real fishing show you're about to see. An old friend, Bill McDonald. Know this guy for how many years? Too many, 30s. Not 97, <laughs> yeah. I would say. Gang, in all honesty, if you hunt or fish, you pretty much do one thing. If you're gonna be successful, you stare at the weather. In particular, what do you stare at? The wind, the temperatures, We're gonna have the a, barometric pressure changing. We're gonna have a five gallon bucket of wind, gang. Um, I, here's, it's fair to say, this one could end up truly magic or tragic. That was a nice awkward opening. I like where we went right there. Just a five gallon? I'll tell you in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> you know, getting to come up here too and fish with Zona, you know, I I'm from Indiana. We got about six or seven fish in the state of Indiana. We take turns catching, you know, so being able to come up here and actually catch smallmouth and be with the king, you know, Zona, and you know, he is like the best on a small mouth. So what an awesome deal. And you know, it's like spot on, you know, he, 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 he's done his homework on these fish. Game there he is. Nice one. Good one. <laughs> Hammer time. That's fast. <laughs> That's one of the unique things about this lake that we're on right here. Easy, buddy. It's one of the unique things about this lake that are a little chunky small mouth. It, that fish hit that thing with everything he had. These first cold fronts like this hit up here, they, they crush yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like what's weird, you get an opposite effect when you get a cold front down south, it'll shut them down a lot. But up here, if it makes sense, it, it it's like it makes them mad. <laughs> like dinner time. Exactly. They know that they got about, you know, even in the springtime, spring or fall, a, a cold front's not a, it's, it's not a bad thing for the simple fact that the majority of these fish spend their life in colder conditions than they do in warmer situations. This is one of those lakes where you can catch a mix, I guess, I don't know, I don't know a lot about it, but I told Bill, Early in the morning, I wanted to just check this sand real shallow. And as the day wears on and we could see our shots, as clear as this lake is, I think we're gonna get an opportunity to literally kind of call your shot. Because a lot of these fish are relating to holes in grass. 
You, you know, what's what's awesome is Billy's a, a Midwesterner, but he's really a Southerner. He's from Southern Indiana. Old boy has grown up with a striking spinner bait in his hand. And he, and here's the, when you're in, in conditions that we are in and you're both catching them and, and Billy started firing and I'm like, come on, come. The other thing about Billy. My man, my man, my man. Like Billy's one of the nicest human beings on earth earth, but he, don't worry, he ain't scared to tune me up with that spinner bay. My man. Right on the clump. Right on Good job. Nice one. Pretty My good. man. Good job, Bill. Good job. Nice one, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You need help? You got him. I got him. Get him. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what we're talking about. That's interesting. Multiple casts on that clump too. Look at that. I like that. I like it. I like that. Good job. The clump is the key with the tour grade spinner bait. 25 to 40 mile per hour winds, that's challenging. It compresses where you're able to get around and fish. It also compresses what you need to throw. You know, we come up here to film to, to, to throw a spinner bait. And, you know, I think first time in history, we had hurricane conditions in Michigan, you know, gale force winds. And anytime you got wind, spinner bait is the key. So like I said, the, the weather was brutal, but yet we took advantage of what, what was given to us. And that spinner bait was just the bait to throw and catch those, those smallmouths that day. There he is. <laughs> That's calling your shot right there. That's a good one. Let me get out of your way here, Mark. That's what we're talking That's about. That's what it's about, man. <laughs> Gosh, that fish crushed that thing. One of the, the best things is when you're sitting there rolling a spinner bait like that, literally, I turn that reel handle about two or three times. And, oh. But I mean, that matches exactly what they're eating right there. Blade, permitto size, and hang on. Absolutely. You know, the main thing, we're throwing a new tour grade spinner bait. It's got, what, what I like about it, it's got a real light wire on it, throwing a half ounce. It's got a real light wire where you can feel, you get a lot of vibration off of that spinner bait. But on a day like this, you know, if, if you don't bass fish a, a ton, or you're kind of just learning, when, when mother nature throws what she's gonna throw at us the next 24 hours, you have to be throwing something that you can feel and you can move. You know, I'd love, even Bill too, I'd love to be throwing a structured jig or a coffee tube or something like that, but don't, don't go against mother nature. And, and a deal like this is you always hear the term, wind is your friend. Now don't get me wrong, we're gonna see 20 to 30 mile per hour gust today. I'm not gonna say she's our best friend, but you need to use that wind to your advantage. Billy made a comment. Bill made a comment. You're looking for a collision. And somewhere, somewhere through this chute, we'll collide with multiples because this wind, what it does more than anything, it'll compress these fish together. Well, and using a bait that's heavy enough yes. that you can feel. Absolutely. So you don't want to get something so light you can't feel what's going on. And when it's windy like this, don't be afraid to put some real string on. Right. I mean, we're both using 17 to 20 pound line and bombing. Fish. There's one of them large mouth. Come to play. I was just saying. Slow it down just a hair, Z. I gotta get the poison out. I got a lot of coffee in me. 
<laughs> and that's what's cool about some of these lakes is those largies will go on a feed this time of year and they'll just mix with them smallmouth. I'll get you a better one than that. My man. Still got him? Yep. Right on the waypoint. How about Spot that? Spot on. Yes, sir. Good job. Come around you. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Yes, sir. I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, hi there. Hi. M little Mr. Pretty Boy. It's a pretty one. He ate it. That's awesome. See the blades? Same size. Bait fish. Great fish. Chunker. On the grass club. Good job, man. Spot on. We started at a lake that I told Billy, I said, we, we're, let's, let's, let's get our numbers going. Let's get, let's just see kind of what's happening. And it started, it started right off the bat. My man. That's big, whatever. My man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go on, BMAC. That's Go on, BMAC. Yes, sir. I mean, you need help with him? You're good. You want to, I grab him. That's a good one, dude. That's a show enough. You might just jump in a boat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And a tour grade uh -huh. spinnerbait works. Billy, I really feel like that was my bass. <laughs> you missed him. <laughs> <laughs> I really. You don't get any better than that right there. Now here's an amazing thing for everybody at home, straight up. Number one, lock a waypoint when you catch one like that. But number two, a lot of the largemouth and the walleye we're catching out near the grass, all the smallies with this wind this morning, they're about that deep of water, that deep on sand. You know, when we're targeting these fish, we're looking for sand spots, shallower stuff there with some grass edges, a little bit of wood and stuff out in the water there, and, and scattered rocks. And it was just spot on. Like I said, you can't call it any better than that. And the low light conditions, when that wind's blowing, those smallmouth feel comfortable, so they get up on those sand spots, and you know, it's a train wreck when they hit that deal. One of the hardest things in, in bass fishing, not fishing shows, one of the hardest things in bass fishing, Yeah is to be catching them. And in the first three and a half hours, we're catching them. My man. My man. And I said, guys, let's just pull the plug. Let's pull the plug and let's, let's bail. On days like this, if you're sitting at home and you're like, you look at a weather pattern like we were in, it is so easy to go, ah, I'm gonna pass on it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Magic can happen. My mentality on it was, is look, we're, we're gonna continue to catch two to three pounders. There's no doubt. I mean, we could fish till dark and catch 40, maybe 50. I, I wanted to go, I wanted to go catch some big ones. There we go. Game on. Got him. Biggin'. 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 You want me to grab him? Gosh. You want me to get him? Yeah. Yes, sir. Get him, Bill. Get him, Bubba. Yeah! Ah. Yes, sir? <laughs> no, sir? Maybe. Bill? That trailer hook scaring the crap out Bill, of me. Bill, I'll swing him. I got him. <laughs> <laughs>
Terrible landing job. Ooh. There you go, Marco. <laughs> Dude, that's a stud. <laughs> that is a stud. Both hooks. I just kept seeing the one sticking out of the corner and it was scaring the crap out of me. How about that? <laughs> Needed it. It's kind of funny. Mark hooks this big fish. I said, hey, you want some help? He goes, no, nah, I'm going to boat flip him, you know? And then we get up there and he goes, oh my God, no, it's a giant, it's a giant. You grab him. So I get down there and he's like, grab him, grab him, grab him. And you know, like, okay, I don't want to screw this deal up. And, of course, he's telling me how to land a fish. You know, I've landed two or three of them. But anyway, we get the fish in and it was just, then it was pandemonium after that. It was a good time. Here's the one thing I'll tell you about throwing a spinner bait on a day like this. Granted, there's not a lot that are up shallow, but we've, we've sought refuge up in a little bay and just got our first bigger spinner bait bite on this lake. Here's the thing. If you keep throwing that thing, burn it as fast as you can. One crack of the bat, cool. that can happen. Now, as painful as this sounds though, gang, we're gonna go on the windy side of this lake and we'll catch two more of those. Oh, that felt good. Hammer time. <laughs> Needed that. I really thought I was about to get a kick in the ass about the second time I missed that fish. <laughs> Every time I reached, all I'd seen was that trailer hook pointing at me, and I'm like, nah, I don't want that one. Sorry about the sorry ass landing job. <laughs> that was awesome. I made a comment last night, we were having a cold, cold, cold if you know what I mean. I said, Bill, I, it's never crossed my mind. You look just like Mr. Han, Jess Piccoli's <laughs> history teacher from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Like, frighteningly similar. I didn't realize he was that good looking. <laughs> he, he is a striking man. Very true. Known each other, known each other for, th gosh, I've known him longer than I've known my wife. But we used to fish against each other back when I was in my early 20s. Little dude. I'd like to say I had hair back then, but I'd probably still be lying, so. This dude hammers smallies. And we get to throw the new tour grade Strike King spinnerbait. Strike King is known, gosh, since I was, you know, a little dude, five to 10, 15 years old, I used to watch so many shows of, of Strike King spinnerbaits. Like that is one of the most ingrained thing in, in my fishing show memory is watching shows with Strike King spinnerbaits. In, in all honesty, that's what they started being known for in the bass fishing world, you know, decades and decades and decades ago. Got him. <laughs> Good one. good one, good one. You want me to help? You're going boat flipping. Got him. A spinner bait kind of has become forgotten, Hi. like it's uncool. Here's what a spinner bait is it's a bite getter and it's a big bite getter. Gosh. Got him. Biggin. 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 You want me to get you? No, I'm going to swing him. We need him. Gosh, is that a biggin? It's a biggin. You sure? Yeah, help. Yeah. That's a big one. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get, just belly him, belly him, belly him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my mic dropped out. Look at the size of that Bam, bass. Boom. Look at the size of that bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. What am I doing right here? That is the most. Oh. <laughs> that is a ladies tank. and gentlemen we'll be right back with more striking pro team <laughs> journal <laughs> spinnerbait edition volume one whoa whoa that's a hammer zona can we can we can we rewind the last half hour <laughs> dude that's a <laughs> you, beast you take a hold of him you rewind the last 30 minutes, crossing this lake, wind here, wind there, crashing, spear and waves. If you go out on days like that, that right there, hey, B Mac, where are you at? It'd be hammer time. That fish bit that striking spinner bait like he had never seen it.
you know, we could have stayed probably on the one leg and caught a whole bunch of them two to three pounders, but neither one of us like to do that. We like to catch a big fish, so that's what you gotta do. Fish the conditions and do what you got. I, I'm not fishing against Mark. I'm not fishing against guys in tournaments. I'm fishing against the fish, so that's the deal. And, I, and just to be able to go out and do that and do it for a living, very blessed to be able to do that. When everything is said and done in our lifetime, you know, hunting, fishing, only thing we got sitting in a chair like this on the side of a lake is we got memories. That, that's all we're gonna end up with, right? That was a darn good one with a darn good dude.